Villanova head coach Kyle Neptune is joining us on Big E Shoot Around. And Kyle, it's been 81 days since you were introduced as the head coach of Villanova basketball. What have these first 81 days been like? I mean, they've been uh, pretty familiar, actually. I mean, honestly, I've been here for um, a pretty long time as an assistant and as, as a video coordinator. So, um, you know, uh, very familiar with my surroundings here. Honestly, I, I was, um, you know, starting to feel comfortable at Fordham. Um, I, I still hadn't, I still wasn't completely comfortable there, but I, I'm way more comfortable here than I was uh, at Fordham just because I've been here so long. As familiar as you are with everything, what's something that you've learned in the head coach chair that maybe you didn't previously know about Villanova? You know, not much right now. <laughs> uh, not much right now. Like, I, I think um, the biggest change will be when the games start. Yeah. Uh, and the competition, um, obviously, the Big East is um, you know one of the best leagues in the country. Uh, we have a, a very challenging schedule, so I think that'll be the biggest learning curve. Um, uh, right now, you know, we're we're going through our normal process of the summer that we've um, become used to around here. So I, I think this is pretty familiar times. Looking ahead at this upcoming season, and regardless of who the the leader on the sidelines was going to be. The biggest question that anybody's going to say is, well, how do they replace what Colin Gillespie did? Just like people asked before, how do they replace what Jalen Brunson did? How do they replace what uh, Ryan Archdiakono did for them? No one person replaces what Colin Gillespie does. Sure. How do you view your situation in the backcourt and what the plan is for this upcoming year? Yeah, I mean, Colin is a, a huge loss. Uh, I think, honestly, I, I really believe this. I think he's one of the best leaders that Villanova's ever had. Um, you know, just not not only how good he was, was as the player, but who what he meant to our team um, in the locker room, on the court, um, in, in the huddles. Uh, I think he was just one of the best of all times at handling those situations. So it definitely will be missed, uh, along with Jermaine Samuels. Um, but I think we have a lot back, uh, a, lot got, a lot of guys who've, um, had some pretty profound experiences in college basketball. Um, I think they're up to the challenge. Kyle, one of the headliners heading into the upcoming season, fans certainly love to talk about the fact that you have a couple of star-studded freshmen that are coming into the program. But before I get to them, I want to take it to this angle. You've got a sophomore class that came in highly recruited, just necessarily hasn't gotten a ton of minutes quite yet by virtue of where the program was at a year ago how intrigued are you by Jordan Longino and and by Trey Patterson by this second year group that you've got and the opportunities that are ahead for them yeah I'm, I'm excited for all our guys I think that you know last year you know, and obviously I wasn't here so uh, <laughs> I can't speak to every single thing that went on but um, you know college basketball is tough uh, it's, it's, it's tough for young guys at times but I, I think this the, the sophomores in particular um, are extremely resilient group extremely talented group um, and they, they've been great for us thus far this summer um, to follow it up on our freshmen our freshmen have come in um, and really try to learn what we do here. And again, another extremely talented bunch of guys. So, you know, our practice have been pretty good thus far, um, extremely competitive. Um, so I, I, again, I'm excited to see um, what happens when the year starts. How would you define Cam Whitmore? I mean, Cam, I, I think, you know, within 30 seconds to a minute watching him, you just see what a freak talent he is, uh, extremely athletic. Um, great body control. Um, you know, I, I think that what's missed with him is how uh, extremely competitive he is um, and what, what, how much of a great person he is. Um, so, you know, we're extremely um, high on what, what he brings to the table. Um, and he, he's, he's definitely uh, made his imprint on the program already. I'd be remiss to, to not then have you give us a definition of another incoming freshman who joined Cam on the FIBA U18 team. They went for a gold medal and were able to achieve it. Mark Armstrong, what is he going to bring to Villanova? Yeah, Mark is another one who, within a minute or two of watching him do things on the floor, you're, you're extremely impressed with his speed and athleticism. 
um, you know, he he'll do something two or three times of practice. You just you know shake your head just because he's he's way above the rim attacking the rim. He's extremely quick in ISOs and ball screens. Um, so he he brings a different dynamic. Honestly, I, I don't know if the last time we had someone at that spot that was that fast and athletic and and shifty. So he he definitely brings a different dynamic, um, along with his IQ and intelligence. Um, you know, again, he's he's definitely made his impact felt as well. The great Dana O'Neill, who does a terrific job covering you guys throughout the years, talked about Caleb Daniels in a recent piece. And she was talking with George Halkovich on your staff, and he brought up the fact that, that look, Caleb Daniels has always been dynamic. This upcoming season, there's more than just being dynamic, than just serving a role. What's that process, and, and how is he handling taking on that increase in leadership and in role as it relates to this roster. Yeah, I think anytime you enter a new program, there's uh, there's a learning curve. Um, and, you know, uh, Caleb had extreme success at, at Tulane, especially scoring the ball. I think he does that naturally. Um, and I think his first couple of years here, he was kind of trying to find his way, um, playing on some pretty good teams. And I think, you know, that culminates of the last couple games of last year, him really making his presence felt. Uh, and I think he's ready this year to continue the last third of last season where I, I feel like he was extremely dynamic, scoring the ball, um, rebounding the ball, guarding different positions. Uh, I think he can do those same things for us this year and help anchor our team. What are the biggest things, those points of emphasis that you and your staff, which you're known for that player development, that's what this program has been about. Yeah. What's the, the final link or two? that you look at with Brandon Slater to get him ready for his best season yet? Yeah, I think Brandon has been, you know, I, I go back and watch some of the games from last year. I mean, he was really good for, for a lot of last season. I think what people don't know is he was hurt for most of the season, just fought through injuries, um, ankle injuries, like in both ankles and shoulder. And he, he had a lot going on. And to his credit, he never made excuses, never asked for sympathy. Um, but, you know, he, he was in his own right, um, you know, forced to be reckoned with last season. Um, and I think he's ready and, and poised to do that consistently this year. Um, with his ranginess, athletic, uh, his athletic ability uh, for, for us is, you know, it's rare to find someone at his size who can literally play the one through the five. Um, so he, he brings a, a definitely something unique to the table. Kyle, what is the latest update you have on Justin Moore? Uh, Justin's, um, you know, we're, we're taking it day by day. Um, he, he's in a great spot. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think we'll know um, about any dates on when he would come back until at least January, February. Um, you know, I think he's, we, we're not going to rush him back. Um, you know, we, we were going to take it as slow as possible, just with respect to his playing career uh, after this. Have you had any of of a moment out of out of all the things you've been doing you've been on the recruiting trail where you've been trying to to get this going as as you're the leader of the program has there been a moment a, a day a morning when you do walk into your office and just think to yourself man a year ago I was at Fordham <laughs> and and I'm sitting here right now as the head coach of one of the best programs in America yeah, you know, I, I would be lying if I said in my uh, quiet moments at times that that doesn't cross my mind. But then, you know, you get on the court and you got a coach or you on, out on the road, you got to recruit, you got to make calls. So um, there, there isn't much time to, to soak it in, I, I would say. Um, you kind of got to, you know, take the bull by the horns and, and get the job done. So um, I, I'm definitely happy to be here. This is a dream job for me. I'm humbled that I was. Um, picked and I'm excited to continue uh, continue to try to hold this place um, in the same spot it's been over the last 10 years or so. How do you go about keeping a place at what it's been while also being you? Well, I, I mean, I, I really feel like I grew up here, right? Um, you know, I came here at 23 years old. Um, I left a total of four years 
um, during that time. So a lot of my experience over the last um, number of years of my life has been here. Um, the way I look at basketball, a lot of it was framed from being here. A lot, of, honestly, a lot of the way I look at life was framed from being here. So I think, you know, what this place is, I've grown up in and I've absorbed most of what this place is. Now, of course, I'm a different person but uh, than Coach Wright, but um, you know, a, a lot of my experiences and what I've learned have made me who I am today. So um, I, I, I think my job right now is to just be who I am, who and I think who I am happens to be a lot of what Villanova basketball is um, and, you know, try to do my best job to uh, keep our culture intact. One of the more revealing things about Villanova is if you're a, a fan or a media member who arrives really early for a game, the warmups. Villanova warms up unlike any other team, just the way that they go about a, a warm up. And Kyle, the first time that some people have seen it, I, I've been in discussion with them. They say, is this, is this real? Like, is this actually how they go about it? W what is it that makes this attitude, this program, not just your everyday sports cliche, what is it that allows for it to be authentic? I think the players have um, just a unique sense of pride in the program. Um, and that's everyone from uh, the best player down to um, a first year manager. Um, I think once you've been around, you, you just have extreme pride in everything that you do. Um, and I think that resonates in, in that warm up. I think guys just give it all they have um, and it resonates and people see something I think is pretty unique. All right. Last week, it made some major college basketball headlines. Uh, Mike Krzyzewski said he won't be a Cameron Indoor Stadium. He's not, he's not going to any games. He doesn't want to be a, a distraction. I know you can't speak for Coach Wright, but what, what would you say uh, about, as it pertains to Villanova basketball, in this case, uh, if Coach has that, that open door to, to the Finneran Pavilion or, or, or not? No, I, listen, I would like coach around as much as he possibly can be around. If he, he wants to sit on the bench, he can sit on the bench. If he tells me, hey, listen, I want to take this one, you could take this one. So I, I think he's he's, he's earned that. Um, I, like, you know, obviously we all uh, look at him uh, with the utmost reverence around here, and um, we like him to be around as much as humanly possible. Have you thought at all about that feeling of, of walking out in November uh, for your first game? No, I haven't. Not, not even I, I haven't really thought about it yet. I, I think we're locked in what's going on here in the summertime, um, trying to develop our guys and develop our team um, to be the best Villanova basketball team we could possibly be. Um, we all know that that starts now in the summer, and uh, that's kind of the task at hand at the moment. While I have you here, I can't ignore a player who really stepped up for this team as last year went on. And I think he, he gives you quite an interesting dimension in Eric Dixon. Like, yeah. What can Eric Dixon be coming off of a, a pretty solid year last season, now just having an off season of developing even more? Yeah, I think Eric has always been a pretty talented scorer. Um, yeah, I think that was his, that was, you know, really in his DNA coming out of high school. Like he, he was known, um, as a scorer, as someone who is dynamic in that regard. Uh, and throughout his first couple of years here, I think he had to learn, um, how, how hard he had to play on the other side of the basketball and just get better defensively and rebounding the ball. And I think he did that last year. I think he became a, a, a pretty good defender in his own right. I think he can take, um, another step this year. I think he has it in him to be a lockdown defender and someone who can guard every position on the floor. Um, and I, I think that's going to really help our team with his size, um, and his body type. Um, to be that uh, anchor for us defensively. I don't need to give you a, a rundown of, of each team. You see what these programs are doing and what these coaches are doing. You're one of four new coaches in the Big East. When you think about this conference, where it's at right now, what comes to mind heading into the upcoming season? I mean, I've always felt this way. I think I feel like the Big East is one of the best basketball conferences in the country every year. Um, you know, just from top to bottom, there are no off nights. So talented, so well coached, top to bottom. 
Um, you know, I, you, there's never a night you go into a game like, oof, okay, we only have this guy. This, this, that just never happens. Um, every game is so well contested. The crowds are always into it. Um, so yeah, I, I, I've always looked at the Big East. I'm very biased, but I've always looked at the Big, Big East as one of the best basketball conferences in the country. And I think it'll continue to be uh, this year for sure. Kyle Neptune, it's been quite the offseason for Villanova basketball. What's your message to Nova Nation? Um, let's come out and support Nova Nation. Um, I think we have a great team this year. Um, looking forward to getting out there and competing. Kyle Neptune, best of luck here as the summer rolls on. And thanks for taking some time with us. Thank you. Appreciate it.